So, welcome to the third edition of Tips and Tricks in ArcGIS Pro. In this session, we will be talking about projections and coordinate systems. It is best practice to ensure that the data we are using in our mapping and analysis maintains the same underlying projections and coordinate systems. Similar to ArcMap, ArcGIS Pro map layouts take on the projection and coordinate system of the first layer added. We can verify the spatial reference of a map by going to its properties and looking under the coordinate system properties. Here we will note that this map has a coordinate system WGS984 and has a projection applied to it which is UTM zone 16N. This can be cross-checked against our layers. So if we open up the properties of our settlements layer and go to the source properties and expand the spatial reference properties, we can note the coordinate system as well as any projections applied. In this case we have WGS1984 coordinate system and a web mercator auxiliary sphere proje projection. If we open up our roads layer and go to its properties and look at its spatial reference, we'll note that this has a coordinate system of NAN 1927 and has a projection of UTM zone 16N. In ArcGIS Pro, there are two quick ways to reproject data. The first is to use the project tool. If we search our geoprocessing tools for project in data management toolbox, we'll come across and we'll be able to open this tool. We'll select a input feature class in this case our Belize roads, our output feature class, the output coordinate system, which will be the same as our map. And because our input feature class has a different coordinate system than our output coordinate system, we must apply a geographic transformation. For Belize, we will always use the NAN 1927 to WGS 1984 number two geographic transformation. Select run, and our new layer is added to the map. The second method involves right-clicking our layer in the table of contents and selecting data, export features. This opens up the feature class to feature class tool. We'll give our output feature class a name, then select the environments tab and select the output coordinate system. In this case, both the, the input feature class and the output coordinate system are the same, just the projections are different. So no geographic transformation is needed. We'll select run. Now we can check the layer properties of our newly projected layers. I go into the properties and expanding the spatial reference. And we'll do the same for the roads. And we can see that our projections and our transformations have been applied. I hope you enjoyed this installment of Tips and Tricks in ArcGIS Pro. Join us again next time.